tidying up my cassette tapes. Da, 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 da. I have done this two other times before, but the failed one because I fucking did some sort of fucking awful and unfunny at the uh, end. Second, because I'm pretty sure I. I did a label that I've already done on these, on the recommendations. And now, hopefully, third time's a charm. Which it should be, because I have four spicy labels to show you, starting from this side to this side, because I have my little counter coffee table that I have my computer on. We're going to go with Caligri Records, which shouldn't need too much introduction if you... You follow the uh, my little music because honestly they've uh, well obviously this one is sort of like this is Stefan Vites which I get wrong in my collection video but still uh oh shout out to Flonk Castle he is the winner of my uh, giveaway slash shout out contest that I do on Discord and uh, he didn't he didn't take the giveaway. Uh, but he did take the shout out, so Flaunt Castle, go check him out. He has my seal of approval, even though I haven't watched him yet. He's probably funny. Uh, he seems like a funny guy on Discord. If you want a uh, shout out, if you want, I do a shout out and or giveaway contest every month. Probably not going to do the, do a giveaway this month, mainly because I'm sort of, sort of, sort of tight on cash. And I already spent all the money I can on other stuff, but uh, I'll try and remember to get something to give away for next month. But Sephar Vite, but from Caligra Records, uh, there's the little logo. We from Caligra Records we have Sephar Vite, a uh, twenty-something demo. Undeath Sentient Autolysis demo. Neurodolks 20 something demo. I th think 2018. I could be wrong. But, uh, uh, this also could be 2018 because this has the same Roman numerals, but I am shit at Roman numerals. And Marth's Sister of Darkness. Now, before I go any further, I should probably should explain the rules. Number one, I have to have at least. Three, uh, three, uh, items from the label, which means that lovely labels like Blue Drops Propaganda and Brutal Cave Production, since I don't have three items from them yet, mind you, uh, I cannot, uh, recommend them yet. And another thing is that I have to have bought directly from them at least once. I have a, I have a, about four or five things from Eric Records, but since I haven't bought that, bought directly from them yet, I can't tell you if I can't put them on this list. We'll start. So let's get into the nitty gritty. Marth is Black Doom, made by all female lineup because there's only one female, and it is actually splendid. It's also the size of an album. I think about. 36 minutes, and it is 36 minutes of pure joy. I quite like Black Doom. I'm still trying to find a full of, uh, I can't remember the name of them. They're like a fucking horse from the second variation of the Nightmare painting as the cover. The Hillopstat. Yeah, I'm trying. To, still trying to find a full version of that. Uh, but Marth's Sister of Darkness, uh, still scratches that black doom itch. Uh, we'll go with, uh, another black metal demo. Sephar Vites. This one only being about 12 to 13 minutes, though. But it is 12 to 13 minutes of pretty good black metal on a yellow cassette tape. And I love this style of, uh... I love the style of, uh... Is that just a logo? Maybe a name? Maybe the name? Love the style. I love the style of 
cassette tape. I kind of got to angle it a little bit so that you guys can see it without the gloom. I guess I could put it down here. But anywho, uh, next we have Undeath Sentient Arms, crushing and suffocating death metal. Oh my god, I love Undeath. I still haven't gotten their full length yet, which is honestly really, really good and really scrumptious, but I am pretty happy with this demo. I quite like it. I'm not giving you the full layout. Uh, I will do that in, like, I do that in the, you know, collection video. And next we have Near Adults 2018 demo? 2016? 2018? I don't fucking know. But, uh, Near this is a, an am amazing punky black metal that I, yeah, I love. I love punk infused anything. Punk infused shit could probably get my head banging, you know? I can't, that's kind of bad. Oh, I'm not. Ah, whatever. I need to get. I need to. I need to release this. And next we have a quite peculiar uh, label. Aggressively uninterested, because not only do they do underground death and grind, but underground trap as well, which is a odd combination. You don't exactly think to go together, but by golly, are they? Do they release some good stuff? Uh, let's get the trap out of the way with my two trap cassettes. Uh, sat I, I, I do want more extreme metal from them, but I haven't been able to, you know. I probably will go looking around and see if they have any left. But, uh, we have p Bapes versus Grindcore and p Bapes versus the Zog. Both pretty good trap metal. Tra trap metal, fuck. <laughs> I want to hear that shit. Uh, pretty good, uh, trap rap. Uh, I prefer this one a little bit more because it has the song Autistic on it. And it's anything with autism I like. Uh, <laughs> autism does suck though, like, don't, don't get me wrong, autism is, it's horrible for people who have it. You, you grow up, it's horrible, they grow up. Not, not saying they can't have good lives, I'm just saying it's kind of a bummer when you get it, which is usually at birth, but uh, oh, sucks. Next we have App Reactions Pure Attorney, uh, again, by the way, the, uh, all, most of them have been, I think all of them actually have been, have had, a uh, blank insides, mainly because that does save a little bit on, uh, that does save quite a bit on, uh, the production, I should know, I've been looking into getting, making a label, uh, it's kind of hard, I haven't been able to get any um, else on board. I might ask someone, like, hey, can I have a few cassette tapes from your labels, so I could sell all my labels, I have monies, uh, cause I do have someone that I know that, it does run a label. But yeah, um, Ab Reactions for your attorney. Really, really good stuff. Uh, really good d uh, death metal that's just, it's ch it's just brutal, simple, I love it. I love simple, brutal death metal. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's brutal death metal, but it is death metal. I would, I give this a recommendation as long as recommending the entire, um, label. Next, we have another label I'm pretty sure you may have heard of. Blood Harvest. This is their Anthropophagus album, and what I like about this death metal, I repeat, death metal album, is that it's on a pink So yeah, that's actually kind of hilarious, and honestly, I quite like the look of this pink, pink uh, vinyl. And they do, I actually have every format, music format that doesn't suck. I'm looking at you, a track, you piece of fucking shit. On there, including cassettes in the form of uh, this four-way split between Oxalate, Perpetuated, Blood Spore, and Visisect, as well as this Gut Void cassette, and CD with this Tomb Mold, 
which I actually didn't buy directly from them, even though there is a third pressing of this right now. So, uh, if you want, if you want, if you want this, that was your chance. I think it's on vinyl and CD. I could be wrong. It could be on just vinyl or just CD. But hey, this is a really good album, and I might as well start talking about this one. This is. I mean, come on. You, you know Too Mold. If you don't, learn Too Mold. That's all I have to say. Now these you may not uh, know as much, but they are still pretty good. Oxalate, Perpetuate, Bloodspore, and Vivisect all. I, I'm going to have to listen to this some more because I can't exactly tell you each style, but still, this is really good death metal, and I quite like it, and it sounds good on this cassette. However, I will say... There are two three-minute songs and two six-minute songs. Instead of having a two-minute song or a three-minute song and a six-minute song, they have both on one side and the others on the other. They have both three-minute songs on one side and both six-minute songs on the other side. If you're doing a label, please do don't do that. If you're doing like a four-way split and have control of the where the shit goes, don't do it like that. It's uh, fucking annoying. You have to fast forward it like for two literal days. Don't do that. Uh, Get Void. Oh, I fucking love Get Void. They have a full length coming out sometime, and I'm gonna be all over that like flies on honey. As you can see, uh, nice little uh, uh, print, as well as on this. Oh fucking fuck you. That's a call. Uh Cut Void is really good. Uh Death Metal it is. Mid mid tempo heavy as fuck, I love it. I think I'm starting to hear things because I'm going insane. Well, let's uh move on to the last uh label before I lose my goddamn mind. It is NVNM. Oh, these are another one you should know by now because they make some of the best like, I've, my, most, I think well, they're extreme metal but I think they're mostly black metal. Do you quote me on that though? Uh, if there are a death, if they do have death metal releases, it's even better because I love both death metal and black metal. We're gonna start off with uh, we got a uh, New Jersey Attack, New Jersey Metal Attack Volume Five, The Gauntlet, and Altar of Gore. We're gonna start off with Altar of Gore. This is death, black goodness. Oh my God! As you can see, as you can see there, I have been listening to it, and I just popped it out whenever I decided to uh, make this. Video. I'll definitely be popping it back in. This is good stuff. The Gauntlet uh, War on Guilt is uh, Bathory inspired black metal and I fucking love it. It, do it doesn't take too much from Bathory. I'd say it's more hard rocking than Bathory is. And it is beautiful. I fucking love it. I'd say it's pretty close to black and roll. I'm not sure if it is black and roll. It, I don't think. You know what? I'm gonna say now. It's too hard to be black and roll. I say this is just black metal with a good leaping portion of speed and battery. And next is new, new New Jersey metal attack, which actually has five count 'em five bands. This is a compilation. The Gauntlet, Altar of Gore, Blasphematory, Burial Stone, and Apex Winter, all roughly black metal, black, black death. All of them sound lovely. I will say there is a little bit in the middle where it goes, and it sort of breaks up the thing. But other than that, this is still a really, 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 really good uh, compilation here. And that's it. My bed, my, well, this isn't my bed, this is my couch. I don't even sleep on this. My couch is a bit of a mess with cassette tapes. And I gave you my recommendations of 
labels. If you want, check them out. I highly recommend you do. Uh, especially all of them. They're all good. But especially my, uh, my boy, uh, regrettably uninterested. They deserve more love than they're getting right now, honestly. And, uh, P-Babes, actually, and I'm pretty sure the guy that runs the label, which is the same person, I think, actually asked to do a collab with me, and I said yes. So, uh, I will, uh, so keep on lookout for that. Uh, I do need to actually text him about that. So yeah. Hope you liked the stuff in here.